Thermoplastic and thermosetting plastics may not seem like an important issue when it comes to selecting the right types of plastic for your components or products. While on surface, thermoplastic material and thermosetting materials are similar. Chemically and structurally they're very different and are used in very different ways. To help provide you with better understanding, to enable you determine which types of plastics are best for your needs, we're taking a comprehensive look at thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. Welcome to James Sword Research Channel. Do well to watch the video till the end, kindly support the channel to grow by subscribing to it if you're new here, and also turn on notification for new uploads. What is thermoplastic? A thermoplastic is a resin that is solid at room temperature but becomes plastics and soft upon heating. They have low melting point, and when heated will soften to a malleable state or melt to a liquid state. This means they can be shaped into nearly any mold or design, usually via injection molding or blow molding. The significant aspect of thermoplastic is their reversibility, the ability to undergo reheating, melt again, and change shape without posing a risk to material properties. What is a thermoset? Thermosetting plastics or thermosetting polymers are liquid resins at room temperature. These polymers harden upon heating or the addition of chemicals. They have high melting points, but once they are exposed to a certain temperature and cured to a solid state, their components and physical properties become set. They can't be melted back or restored to their original properties. This solidification process is as a result of the formation of certain bond called cross-link that holds the molecules in place and change the basic nature of the material, preventing it from melting. What is cross-linking? Curing. Cross-linking is the general term for the process of forming covalent bonds or relatively short sequences of chemical bond to join two polymer chains together. The term curing refers to the cross-linking of thermosetting resins such as unsaturated polyester and epoxy resin. Therefore, it is often the case that all kinds of thermoset have the tendency to connect to one another, and such a process of forming chemical links across different thermosetting molecules is called cross-linking, or curing. What are the main difference between thermoplastic and thermosetting plastics? The key difference between thermoplastic and thermosetting plastics is in relation to their behavior after heating. The melting point of thermoplastic is lower than degradation temperature, while that of thermostat is higher. When heated after curing, thermoplastic melts, whereas thermoset do not, and they retain a solid shape. All these diverging properties results from an underlying fundamental differences in their chemical structures. Summarized difference in the properties and features of thermoplastic and thermoset. Molecular structure, thermoplastic, they are linear polymers. The molecular bonds are weak and are in a straight chain. Thermoset, they are network polymers there is a high level of cross linking together with strong molecular bonds. Microstructure. Thermoplastic, they comprised of elastic amorphous and hard crystalline region in the solid state. Thermoset, they comprised of thermosetting resins and reinforcing fiber in its solid state. Polymerization. Thermoplastic, undergo additional polymerization. Polymerized during manufacturing, before processing. Thermoset, undergo polycondensation polymerization, polymerized during processing. Melting point, thermoplastic, melting point lower than degradation temperature. Thermoset, melting point higher than the degradation temperature. Recyclability, thermoplastic, recyclable and reusable. Thermoset, non-recyclable. Mechanical properties, thermoplastic, flexible and elastic, with increased resistance to impact, and has its strength from crystallinity. Thermoset, brittle and inelastic, rigid and strong. It has its strength from cross-linking. Solubility, thermoplastic, dissolve in organic solvents. Thermoset, do not dissolve in organic solvents. Chemical resistance, thermoplastic, highly chemical resistant. Thermoset, chemical and heat resistant. Processing of thermoplastic and thermoset. Thermoplastic can be processed in various ways such as extrusion, injection molding, thermoforming, and vacuum forming. Thermoplastic granules are fed into the mold. These granules are heated to melting point, which requires very high temperatures. Thermoplastic are highly efficient thermal insulators. Therefore, rapid cooling is undertaken to achieve a high output rate, 
usually by spraying with cold water or plunging into water bath. To cool thermoplastic film, cold air is blown onto the surface. The plastic shrink upon cooling. The rate of cooling and shrinkage has an effect on the crystallization of the material and internal structures. Thermosetting polymers, a process in their liquid form under heat. The curing process involves adding curing agents, inhibitors, hardeners, or plasticizers to the resin, and reinforcement or fillers, depending on the required outcome. Types of thermoplastic and thermoset materials, with their properties and applications. Examples of thermoplastic materials include 1. Polyamide, nylon, tough and relatively hard material, used for power tool casings, curtain rails, bearings, gear components etc. 2. Polyvinyl chloride, tough and durable material, that is used for pipes, flooring, cabinets, toys, household fittings etc. 3. Polypropylene, a light and hard material, with excellent chemical resistance, used for medical and laboratory equipment, string, rope and kitchen utensils. 4. Low-density polyethylene, LDPE, tough, relatively soft chemical resistant material, used for packaging toys, plastic bags and film wraps. 5. High-density polyethylene, HDPE, stiff, hard, chemical resistant material, used for plastic bottles and casing of household goods. Other examples include acrylic, polycarbonate etc. Examples of thermoset materials are 1. Polyester, hard, stiff and brittle when not laminated, used for encapsulation, bonding and casting. 2. Melanin formaldehyde, they are hard, strong and stiff with good chemical and water resistance, used for work surface, laminates, tablewares and electrical insulation. 3. Urea formaldehyde, hard, stiff, strong and brittle, used primarily in electrical devices, due to its good electrical insulation properties. 4. Epoxy resin, hard material, and brittle without extra reinforcement, used for adhesive and bonding of materials. 5. Polyurethane, hard, strong and durable material, used in paint, insulating foam, shoes, car parts, adhesives and sealants. Other examples include silicone, phenol formaldehyde. Advantages of thermoplastic can be recycled, safe for food packaging, can be blended with rubber or other fillers for strength, flexibility, and other features, high corrosion resistance, superb electrical insulation. Disadvantages of thermoplastics not suited to all applications due to softening when heated, typically more expensive than thermosetting polymers. Advantages of thermoset, very hard and rigid, resistant to high temperature, low strength to weight ratio, strong dimensional stability, resistance to corrosion. Disadvantages of thermoset, inability to reshape or remold, unrecyclable.